and welcome back YouTube. Uh, I just pulled out of U store. Um, I'm about a mile away from there. I just wasn't ready to start rolling video yet. Um, anyway, I was going to say, uh, <laughs> I was something I wanted to say or I wouldn't have ran this video. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't give myself enough time down there to do much of anything. I did get a couple of stereo components moved from one of the back storage units to the, the, the big storage unit, so it, it's something. But, I mean, considering how many components I have to move, two is a drop in the bucket. Uh, one of them I wiped down pretty good, because being near the door with old storms and, and it had quite a bit of dust on it. So. it it's something. I also got a little pair of amplified speakers. I'd say they're from the mid '80s. Uh, surprised they're not Walkman branded. They're Sony branded, but they're um, really nice little amplified speakers. I mean, there's no deep bass out of them. They're the tiny little things, but uh, to uh, say about them, uh, they're pristine condition. To be honest, they've kind of degraded since I've had them just because I haven't kept them in the most pristine of environments, but they've still got the little uh, orange and some Sony stickers on each one. And they've got a, you know, in spite of their lacking bass, they've got a pretty decent sound. I think each one runs off of four AA batteries. So yeah, they're not really lacking for power, you know, for as tiny as they are. And it's a core, you know, the one plugs into the other and then the, uh, the other one's got a cord that hangs out. Damn good plugged into the Obama phone. It's the first time I've used it in that configuration. So I plug my iPhone into it. I plug other other MP3 players. You know. So and I, I can assure when those things were engineered and designed, uh, there was no no thought whatsoever of hey someday there'll be this massive database in the sky and all music will be digitized into zeros and ones. And They'll just be able to pull it through radio frequencies on demand and play the album so there won't need to be any media present. But you'll plug, these speakers will still plug into that device. They'll be compatible. I'm sure there was no thought of that when those were made, but uh, that's how they were. In fact, at the time those speakers were made, CD was a brand new technology. But, uh, for a damn good speaker with the Obama phone. And of course, you know, normal people like be like, why don't you just get a Bluetooth speaker? But um, there's uh, additional compression that happens and, and conversion of digital that happens when you use Bluetooth. And by directly plugging into an analog headphone jack like that, I'm not doing that. So theoretically, the sound is a little better. But I don't know. I just don't see why I should go through the hassle of pairing shit wirelessly when I just plug a phone into a headphone, uh, plug a cord into a headphone jack. It seems like a much more normal thing to do to me. Anyway, I haven't been using those speakers much lately, but they were still, they had fresh batteries in them, they were still sitting in one of my own back units. So, uh, I was listening to it back there while I was moving a few things around, and I went ahead and moved those speakers to the front unit, so they can, uh, they can, um, be there for the next time in there working. Last time I was in there working, I didn't have any kind of music in there. Oh man, all the mental issues I have. It uh, it was it was, it was a little rough. Um, sorting and crushing, recycling and sorting CDs with nothing but the noise inside my own head and the voices inside my own head. Um, you know, when I get listen to a radio or play some music, it, it really helps make them go away. And they were out in full force the other day. And, and I was thinking about actually walking 
you know, to my other unit to get, I could have got those little speakers, I knew they were there. Uh, I've also got an AM radio, and there's actually a video about that radio on this, uh, on my, on this YouTube channel. Uh, it's a, uh, actually a little miniature turntable, a record player. It's a Philco hip pocket record player with an AM radio on it. And that thing works amazing. I forget how many years I've had it down there, but it's, it's been down at Packin, uh, Packin Store. I keep wanting to call it Packin Store. Um, it's been down at, uh, well, let's just say it's been down at Packin Store for years and years. It's, it's, it hasn't moved since the, since it became U Store. Um, there's an AM, it's a KAZG. Uh, they're on AM, FM, FM HD, and they have a streaming app. Really decent oldie station. In fact, the legendary Steve Goddard is on there in the afternoon. Um, I worked with Steve Goddard many, many years ago at Y95. The guy's insanely talented, and at this point, he's also insanely old. I'm surprised he's still on the air. I mean, he wasn't particularly young when I was working with him back in 89. But uh, I really enjoy listening to KACG. And that AM radio is fine. But uh, that last time I was at, uh, at my storage, working inside the big unit, it was just wetter and rainier than I wanted to deal with, walking to the other end of the complex to my other units. So, so that didn't happen. Anyway, I am here at uh, Castaways, actually. Um, I, had a, I had a really bizarre bit of happenstance happen. Um, uh, like two days ago when I went into the Little Woody. I'm sure I mentioned that in my vlog. Yeah, in fact, I remember driving the Little Woody and ending a video when I pulled into the Little Woody. Um, gave some random guy a ride to a hotel room after that and he gave me some lottery tickets it seemed like he split up the lottery tickets and was giving some of them half to me and half for himself and I think he left them all in the car and anyway I've got all these scratch your lottery tickets and trying to play the game and holy crap it's just tedious and time consuming I mean maybe that's somebody's idea of fun and I see people paying scratchers all the time I don't know to me it's annoying I just want to scratch it off and see if I want or not and I do believe they got a lottery machine where I could just scan these things and see if they're winners and if so, how much, so I don't have to do all this stupid simulated playing of bingo. Give me a break and a million better things to do with my time. But hey, if these tickets are worth money, I would like the money. Um, so yeah, I'm, into, I'm on my way into, uh, on my way into Castaways to do that. They got a machine for that, and uh, I got something to eat. The food is good at Castaways. Anyway, once again, thanks for uh, thanks for watching. I realized I didn't finish the story about the older woman that I picked up from um, um, that I gave a ride from uh, Bullocks over to Eight Nicks. Um, kind of got weird with them at Eight Nicks, and I would love to share that story. So hopefully, on the next video. <laughs> Although, the way I am, I might completely forget I was going to talk about it. You know, sort of like I still haven't done a video about Sean. Remember Sean? The guy I was hanging out with on Venice Beach in Mont Santa Monica? I've alluded to him several times in the videos in California and some of the videos shortly thereafter, but I still haven't really explained what that was about. <laughs> and it's, I'm going to get to it one of these days. In fact, I was kind of thinking about maybe doing a, a video about him and the guy who gave me the lottery tickets. There's a part of me that thinks that neither of those people were real. I know, sounds sounds nuts, but uh, I will explain that on a later video. I do know that the women that I brought over to eat next are real. Uh, the one I've talked with many, many times. She's a regular bar fly over at Bullocks. And the other one, I feel like I've seen her there before. Um, <laughs> yeah. That, that ended in the most bizarre, bizarre of ways, and I, I wish I had video footage of the conversation because uh, that was a that's a mid-cal video that just it wrote itself. It really is, you know. But of course, I didn't video it, but I can I can talk about what happened, and uh, not like I'm looking to hook up with women in their late sixties, but you know, oh.
yeah, that ridiculousness. But I'll talk about that again. Uh, I, I, I want to talk about that soon. So stick around for the next video, and uh, maybe I'll get to that.